Hello and welcome to a short video where I will show you how to install and configure Echo RSS feed uh, post generator plugin for WordPress. For to install this plugin, you need to go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, install now. After the short plugin installation process, click activate plugin and go to the plugin settings. These are the main settings of the plugin. Go to rules list. Here you can define a new rule to run. Let's take TechCrunch uh, feed URL, paste it. The schedule means that you want to rerun this rule every 24 hours, maximum 10 posts at a time. You want to publish the resulting post as admin. Advanced settings here are the you can define the title and content for every post. Let's leave this a default. Uh, these are short codes. This will be replaced with the content of each item and the title of each item. A full list of short codes you can find here or in plugin documentation. The post format do not add a category, automatically generate categories from items and tags from items, do not add a custom tag, enable comments, enable pingbacks, automatically get featured image, default featured image if post does not have a valid image, let's search for this, and let's take an image right now, let's save this one, and uh, let's paste it here ok I'll explain the full content grabbing feature later let's save this rule and let's run it right now this is my empty blog if we refresh it now let's see the posts are getting generated right now. If you refresh it another time, the posts are coming out as we can see. Okay, the posts are got, got generated. If we refresh this, the posts are finally, finally generated. It took 10 seconds or so. Ok, let's see a post, let's say this one. As you can see a short content is only available and the read more link is here. For this to not be so, we have to uh, get the full content of the plugin, let's, uh, of the post. Let's go to settings and check, try to get full content. Go to the page from where we want to get the full content. Right click, click uh, Inspect. And uh, search for the div that contains the article text. I think for this page this is it. the what the article I'm searching for. Article answer. As we can see, article entry starts here and ends all the way down here. Yes, article entry. And notice that it is a class. So we select here class and paste article entry. If here it says ID, then you should select ID. Expect and regex our advanced features and how to use them you can go here or here to learn more more features are here to strip HTML and to leave only with full edit text content to get only the first matching element get only the inner div and also the CSS from the content we don't use this right now you can get advanced uh, documentation from plugin uh, files. Click OK. 
and right now hit save settings. We delete the generated post. Okay. And if we go to our blog right now, it is again, once again empty. And now we start regenerating the post. This time it should take a bit longer because uh, the full content is grabbed from the post. So, until that, we go to plugin main settings and I'll explain you this right now. Check this if you don't want links in your post content. Check this if you want to show an ex extended item information meta box in posts. Enable logging. Logging, you can see logs here. Right here, if you enable logging. I recommend that you enable only basic logging. Ena detailed logging should be enabled only when instructed while by the plugin developer in debugging feature. If this is a debugging feature, automatically clear logs. Timeout for rule logging. If a rule runs too much, it will be cut off by the time you define here. Send the running summary to email. You can send an email to the summary. Minimum title will count if the title contains uh, less than five, let's say, words. It will not be included. Maximum title will count. Minimum content will count. Maximum content will count. Banned word list. If you ban words, then the post containing these words will not be included. You can define here uh, null or anything else. Required word list, you can define words that you require for the post to have. Strip HTML elements by ID or class. This is advanced feature. You can uh, search in plugin documentation for more info about this. Skip posts that do not have images. Keep post order than a selected date. You can select the date for the oldest post to include. You can automatically translate the post in any language using Google Translate. Or you can spin the text content by these. Spinning means that you randomize the text by replacing words by their synonyms. So the search engines will not recognize the post as duplicates. You can also get random posts, <coughs> random sentence generator. On how to use this, you can consult the documentation. You can add uh, custom HTML shortcode and add 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 sense or any anything else. Add and here you can replace words. You can replace code revolution with, let's say, my awesome name and add a link to it. But you can see plugin documentation for advanced this. Okay, our rule has already run and if we refresh our page, the posts are regenerated, but this time if we go to a post we will see and right now if we go to post you can see that full post content got grabbed from the article okay so this is all for now. Bye.